Hey guys, welcome back. Mike Ramos here with Mike D'Amico with Advanced Insurance Strategies. That alone, that introduction alone should really get you uh, excited because you're probably uh, an agent. Um, maybe you just got your license. Maybe you've been in the captive world for a while and you just want to go independent, um, you know, or or maybe you are a, a, what I call a, a level two or level three finance thinker. And in, in the previous videos, we explained what that is. If you don't know what I mean by these three levels of finance, um, watch the previous videos and you'll you'll know why. But today, today, we're going to talk about one banking principle that is so important for people to understand because when they when they get this information their mind is going to open up to to really these financial concepts now i'm going to throw one one thing out there that some people may or may not agree with but i always say that money doesn't really exist is the game of money that exists and let me tell you uh, a little bit about closed end loans. So here, here's the closed end loans. I'm gonna describe it, and then you know, you you guys are out there, you know, getting into debt, so you should know what type of loan it is. I'm gonna quiz you which what, what type of loan this is. So this type of loan requires a minimum, uh, a, a minimum payment, and it's and it's and it's a scheduled payment. And if if you were to look at the schedule, it, it's really really long, right? Uh, allows for money coming in but you can't withdraw any money. It's not flexible, right? It is driven by a literally an amortization schedule that we'll look at in one of the seminars we're gonna be doing. We're gonna talk about that in more detail. This is just to give you um, the, the framework. Any money applied does not affect the interest charges until the following month. And the the uh, it calculates the interest charges from month end uh, to to the principal balance. But here's one thing that a lot of people don't know is that um, have you ever looked at your mortgage and it says that you you have to make this payment on the first, but they don't assess the late payment until what day? Day fifteen of the month. Why do you think that is? What type of loan am I talking about? A mortgage, right? That's a right. typical mortgage. Most people are, are conditioned to look at three different things. The interest rate, the term, you know, 10, 15, 20, or 30 years, and the monthly payment. And you know what? The bank would love for you to just keep talking about those three things. Because if right. they could just keep you doing that, Oh man, it's a, a great thing for them. So, Mike, any any thoughts on on the closed end loans? Well, the only thing I can think of off the top of my head, um, and I've had this question many many times, um, was people more, and I've done it myself. You know, paying uh, more than just your your payment, and and I always caution them. I said because look, and you can correct me if I'm wrong because you're the expert here. Um, I say if you want to pay money ahead. And that's certainly fine, but always specify a principal payment because a principal payment can actually be advantageous to how much interest you end up paying. If you just pay money ahead, you just send them an extra payment, it doesn't do anything for you as far as reducing your cost. Where would, it, where would the, the bank normally apply it to? To the interest. Right. Right. Okay. Because that's 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 what they're you yeah. know that's literally their interest. So yeah. I, I appreciate that you share that, and I also like to 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 explain that when you look at the the first day or the first year of the amortization chart, if you look at the relationship, there's a principal payment and there's an interest payment. Mm -hmm. The interest payment is going to be the higher one, to the tune of sometimes 60, 70, 80, and now with the interest rates at six, and we're, we're talking 2023, rates are at 6%, people are freaking out. I think the, the you know, the, the, the volume of interest is, it's a over a hundred now, right? right. So we, right. we go in and we actually dive into this a little bit in more detail. Again, just wanted to give a framework so that we understand the banking principle, number one is closed end loan. So we'll, we'll keep, uh, 
recording the, the future videos on the other principles. But thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Thank you, Miner.